to my channel. If you guys are new here on my channel, my name is Allison and welcome to my channel. And today this video I'll be doing a get ready with me for my birthday edition. So this is the final look of how I'm gonna look like on my birthday. If you guys are interested on how I create this birthday makeup look, let's keep on watching. And also I'll have a final clip on my outfit look of my birthday. Okay, let's start off with the base. I'll be using this Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer on the center of my face. This primer, it helps to eliminate the pores on my face. For the rest of my face, I'll be using this Too Faced Hangover Primer. It has coconut water, so it helps kind of moisturize my face. And for foundation, I'll be using this Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in shade 27. This really gives me a full coverage. This is my birthday, I just want to make sure my foundation stay put and it gives me a full coverage. And the application that I'll be using is this Artist Brush to blend out my foundation. And for this foundation, you just need just a tiny little dot on your face because it's a full coverage. Whenever I have makeup on, I always have to use this underneath my eye. This is the Becca and the Eye Brightening Corrector. This helped me eliminate my dark circle before I apply my concealer. For concealer, it's nothing new. I'll be using my Tarte Shape Take Concealer. I'll be using two shades in light medium and light neutral to mix it together. Here I'll put a light neutral, a slightly lighter color near my teardrops. Then I'll put light medium in the outer. Here I wanna do a little baby baking underneath my eye. I'll be using my sponge and dab a little on the translucent powder and Dab it underneath my eye. Then the rest of my face, I'll be using my brush, dab it and powder, and just kind of go over it. And now let's start with the brows. I'll be using my Anastasia Deep Brow Promade in shade Soft Brown to shape my eyebrow. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. I'll be using my MAC Soft Ultra this eyeshadow primer to prime my eyelid. And for eyeshadow today, I'll be using the ColourPop New Collab with I Love Sarahi eyeshadow palette in Chic Y. And honestly, this is my first time using this eyeshadow palette. And this is all the color that it looks like. I'll be using the lightest shade here to prime my eye or give my eye the base color. On my crease color, I'll be using this kind of brownish tone just to give it a little color on my crease. So this color is really nice mauvey brown tone. Outer corner, I'll be using this kind of purple-ish brown color on my outer corner. Here you make sure you blend it nicely. And now move on to the middle of my eyelid. I'll be using this shimmer shade. It's kind of like a pink um, pressed powder. I'll be using my finger to apply to my eyelid. So it looks really pigmented. I also want to apply in the inner corner of my eye. Move on to eyeliner, I'll be using this Inglock Gel Liner in J77. This is my favorite eyeliner of this month. For this gel liner, I just like to apply it in the middle of my eyelid. Because my inner corner of my eye is a little sensitive and this brush is a little too big for that. So I'll be using my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner to fill in just the little gap. And now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I'll be applying my favorite mascara of this month. It's this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Next step, I'll be applying this Kiss Rissy eyelashes. And I promise this is going to make my look a lot more complete with eyelashes.
So now that we're almost done with the makeup, I'll be using this Hourglass Ambient Radiant Bronzer Light to bronze my face. So I'm kind of just bronze up and give my face just a little more color. I'm off on to blush. I'll be using this ColourPop. I don't think I have the name with me, but this is kind of like a pinkish peach tone. And this blush is the most creamiest blush I ever own. I feel like if you just press in a little bit more, it's gonna dent a little. Here I'm using my Sonia Kashuk brush and kind of dab it on the brush. And for a highlighter, this is my most excited part because this just came into my mail today on my birthday. And this is the Kat Von D face and eye highlighter palette. And now that you know, you guys know holographic is really in a trend and they create this holographic color highlighter. It looks really pretty on the face. But today I'll be using this shade right here. It's called Pink Opal. It looks super pretty. I'm gonna mix this a little purple shade right here. This is the Ultra Violet shade. Ooh. Can you guys tell that it just looks so pretty and the purple with the light hidden on my face. And now we're almost done with the look. Then the last time we're gonna use the I Love Sarahi ColourPop collaboration this is in the shape carvey carvey yeah i'll be using this shade this is the lip gloss and this is the lip liner i'll be using today i really like the formula of this lip gloss it doesn't feel sticky and the shade is just really nice that it complement on the liner so i really like this lip color okay guys so that's it for the final look here and i hope you guys like this look that i create and i hope you guys like this video if you guys like it please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below it really means a lot to me and i'll see you guys until next time <laughs>